the pressure is so great. It is like a great ocean, a sea of violence and murder that pulls us under, until we can no longer see right and wrong, but black and white. I will be home in time to plant the crops this year, I'm sure. By then the flowers will be blooming, the grass will be lush and green. We can plant the garden together. Hold on, Margie, don't give up. We're almost together. It won't be long now. I must kill them. It is my duty to myself and to Germany. We will lose if we don't kill the enemy. When I let go of the restraints, I couldn't stop hating people. I hated people who told me what to do. I hated those who had humiliated Germany and forced us to start another war. I lived that dark life until one day in battle. The hatred just burst out of me and I killed with such satisfaction. But my hatred destroyed their lives. Their families would be having a funeral soon. Because I hated and did not stop myself. I realized what the war was all about. How could we be fighting evil when we are killing and imprisoning innocent people? I would be outraged if a foreign army came over here and did that to you while I was away. How can we say this is a moral war when we treat innocent people like that? I've lived in this gloomy convent for so long. I want to live out in the sunshine. We'll have peach trees and a huge garden and a cow with fresh creamy milk every day and lots of chickens for eggs and stews and... Oh, I can't wait until this dreadful war is over. I love you, my dear, dear Franz, and I'm thinking of you throughout the day and night. I see now that I'm not only a murderer, but a mass murderer. I've not only killed one person, I've killed many people, many times. Each one of them has died deaths, only to find that they are still just barely alive, so they can be subjected to the death yet again. My dear Lee, how can a man be a coward for standing for what he believes in? And what man could be a coward for sacrificing his pride, his position, and even his body for what he knows is right? How merciful it would be to simply kill and let them escape from this world of agony. I know that I'm a great and glorious veteran of the war against extremism, or at least that is what they tell me. I can't take this any longer. It is hellish to hear so many people praise your brave deeds when you know you're no better than a common murderer. I play my part, but I hate it. I hate this masquerade we must all keep up. I wish I could speak out. I wish I could explain what has happened, but no one. We'll hear.